Hey, welcome back to The Past is Alive. We are officially back tonight with Turn Back the Clock Tuesday and a rip of 1994 Don Ross. We've got two boxes here, and I originally had thought these were just regular hobby boxes, but uh, upon further examination, I cracked uh, the cellophane off of this first box and was pleasantly surprised because these are actually jumbo boxes. And I guess I kind of should have known that whenever I originally purchased these. There are 24 packs per box you can see that the small print 24 count back in the day these were originally 36 packs and holly boxes but i thought nothing of it till i cracked that open i wanted to do a brick test i pulled one of the packs out just to double check to make sure these weren't bricked up because uh it's very very common with this year and this brand with bricking because of the uv coating but uh they feel pretty loose in there so special surprise to all the people that bought in the break you're actually getting jumbo packs not regular hobby packs these were two dollars and 49 cents back in the day we got mattingly on the top of this pack and on bonds and then um these jumbo boxes had these exclusive spirit of the game numbered cards these were numbered out of ten thousand. uh so Series 1, we're into that first, and there are a checklist of who we could possibly pull out of there. Some pretty big names and numbered cards, so um, let's check that out first. 660 cards set. The first box topper numbered out of 10,000. Look at that. Very nice. I have never, ever seen these. Very nice. Spirit of the Game was also an insert uh, set, 494 Don Russ, but... Uh, out of 10,000, 64.57 on the Bonds, number 2 of 10. Very, very nice. <laughs> Paul L., never seen that one before. It is so true. Steve Brule, what is happening, man? Sorry about the technical difficulties. Um, about an hour later and $300 out of my pocket, and we are back with the break. For some reason, I don't know what happened. Like I thought I lost my debit card. At Dunkin' Donuts. I thought the guy stole it off of me. And then uh, I went back there. And obviously they didn't have it. And it ended up being in my car. I found it later on. But I had already canceled my card. And I think when I canceled it. I think my uh, internet account was set up with my old debit card. So I actually owed them 300 bucks And did not even realize it. Until my internet was shut off. <laughs> like a couple hours ago. So that is what happened with the break. But uh, we're back at it now. And we'll rip it into this Series 1 box first. 20 cards per pack. And we got Cheswick cigarettes. I think these were these were $12 shipped per stack for this break. So we'll go to the top left. Do this first. Paul L says, I thought you were boycotting Dunkin' Donuts. You know what? If the boycott wasn't official until uh, I went there... What was it over the weekend? I went there on Sunday, and they have officially discontinued my Beyond Sausage, and I am now pissed. The boycott is now in effect. <laughs> Corey, <laughs> Corey. <laughs> yeah. I went to the pharmacy, and uh, they gave it back to me, and my card was lost for a couple hours, but it was actually not lost at all. It was in my car. Cheswick Cigarettes. I don't know if he's in here or not, but let's try to rip and find you an Elite or some of these sweet insert cards. 94 wasn't a great year for rookies. A-Rod was a big one, but he did not make it into the set. Neither did John Hudek, unfortunately. But I loved these as a kid. I definitely used to buy the hell out of them. A little bit of bricking here, but uh, I don't think we'll see paper loss. Fortunately, I was going to put these in the freezer until I noticed that they were kind of coming loose in the packs. But I used to like the special edition cards that were one per hobby pack. I'm, I don't know how many there are per jumbo. Probably one. Dave Stewart leading off. Very nice design for Don Rust this year. Like I said, 660 card set. 330 in both series. There's Pat Henkin. But um, looking for Hall of Famers. Might take us a little while. Kurt Manwaring. And first pack in, Robin Yount. Cheswick is a big strawberry collector. Timmy Tea Time, what is happening? I actually hand collated Series 1 when I was a kid of this. First pack in, Diamond Kings of Albert Bell. Very nice. DK8. I like this year, Diamond Kings. Nicer looking than the previous years, I think. But uh, I know the, uh, the hobby retail odds for the Elite, the Elusive Elite cards... Are like one in 216 packs. The Jumbo, not listed. It's J Bell Special Edition, so these are one per pack. But uh, I like those back when I was a kid. Cool little stamp right there. 
Atep says, I recently found out my mom has a football card collection. That's pretty crazy. Mike Bordick, Todd Hunley, and Kevin Tappany. Ending the first pack. So every stack is going to have six. <laughs> James Reynolds, what is going on, man? Looking for insert cards primarily, man. I came across these boxes. I think they were like 30 bucks a piece at the flea market. So I was like, yeah, I'll buy those. $30 is kind of like an eBay price. I think plus shipping for these boxes nowadays are like between 30 and 40 bucks. Jeff Kent. But what I didn't realize and what the people at the flea market didn't realize is they're jumbo boxes. So they should have been probably double that. Maybe even more. Craig Biggio. Mike Maddox. Greg Maddox, evil twin brother. Geronimo Pena. Greg Myers. Kenny Lofton and Wayne Kirby. And check this out. A miscut of a Juan Gonzalez Dominators. <laughs> I can't say I've ever seen that out of 94 Donruss before. I used to love his car as a kid. But uh, that's a pretty bad miscut, Cheswick. So I do apologize for that. FTC Family Cars, what is happening? We are back online. After filing for bankruptcy, Jeff Treadway, Jay Owens, and our special edition on this pack is Jimmy Key. Danny Jackson, Jim Gott on the Dodgers. It looks kind of weird. And John Smiley on the Reds. Ending that pack. So two inserts and two packs. And one was a horrible miscut. Terry Steinblock leads his next pack off. Chuck Knobloch and Jimmy Key regular. <laughs> Does mom have a Joe Montana collection? Got the Griffey and Thomas Dominators. I want to say the Dominators are available. And you you can actually pull those out of jumbo packs. But... Yeah, it looks like there's no odds listed online. I don't know if those are exclusive to Jumbo Packs, but I don't know. Henderson and the Blue Jays attire. Weird look there, I think so. At least Black Jack McDowell and Omen here, recently deemed. Carl Everett, Henry Cotto. Brian Terang. I don't really remember him that well. Does anybody remember Brian Terang? Only show many years of stats on these ones. <laughs> Paul also series one is filled omens. Marcus Almas. Armus. I don't remember him either. Chris Hammond. Tim Belcher, Mike Devereaux, Mario Diaz looking like Juan Gonzalez. Our special edition card is Greg Olson with a scum stash. I don't remember him having that. Bobby Witt. Senior Brad Ausmus and Sid Bream. Any Swindell action yet? Not yet. Have not seen him. We have seen several other omens. We've got three packs left. Uh, I am going to be doing an auction tomorrow night. Um, there's definitely going to be some vintage. A bunch of player lots. I mean a bunch of them. Uh, so we'll do that tomorrow at 8 p.m. I was going to take a, a week-long hiatus, but uh, I decided not to. Starting off with Todd Pratt. Petrolli, Joe Oliver, Willie McGee. I haven't really opened 94 Donruss in a long time. The last time I did, it didn't end well because the cards were just freaking horrible paper loss. Bob Wickman and Jimmy Key again. That's now two times in the last couple packs. So keep your eye on him. Wade Boggs, nice one there. Todd Hunley, Garcia, Brett Barbary. Jay Menzel, yeah, hopefully make it. Tomorrow, 8 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. Bob Scanlon, Gary Reedus. And there's a strawberry for Cheswick. Too bad it's not a special edition, but uh, Kevin Apier is this time around. Scott Fletcher. <laughs> Looks like literally the, the bat is chasing him down. That is awesome. Mitch Williams and Mark Dewey. Looking like Robert England or Freddy Krueger. That is freaking creepy. Anybody remember Mark Dewey? That Scott Fletcher card is hilarious. Danny Dee says, hope I get a chance for some Braves tomorrow. I'll have to pull some Brave stuff out because uh, I know a few people that want Brave, so I'll keep that in mind as I'm preparing things. There's Ozzy Smith leading off. Mark Dewey Decimal System. <laughs> it's the bat from Dennis Cook's card, Steve Brule says. I love that. Ozzy Smith, eh, no paper losses. Some specklings of dust built up over the last nearly 30 years. Carl Everett, Larry Lubers. Does anybody remember it? This definitely looks like a completely made-up entity. Larry Lubers. Leisure Suit Larry Lubers. 
I don't remember him at all. He looks very uh, mysterious. Eighth round draft pick in June of 1990. Whatever happened to him? If you can even see that through the foil, but <laughs> it's so weird. Tony S, you should do a video on top 10 mustaches and glasses. I was thinking about that, man. Spanky LaValle in the Chai Sox uniform just looks weird. <laughs> Salem Moose, that's what I'm saying. And John Crook. Mike Lansing, Kevin Brown. There's definitely some guys in here that uh, I don't remember at all. I'm sure a lot of people are with me. Tim Raines, Jeremy Hernandez, Honeycutt, Norm Charlton, Graham Lloyd, Thomas Howard, <laughs> Barry Bonds with John Dowd. I don't remember that. It looks like we finally got a decent uh, special edition card. Hershiser, Mark Lemke. Scotty Arms, there are elite possibilities in these. Henderson, special edition. I think those cards are freaking awesome. I like those a lot. Call me basic all you want, but uh, I really like those. Cal Aldred, Mark Witten, and Mike McFarland. Dirk Remington's in the house. Says, I'm late, but here. Good luck to all. Dirk, thank you very much, man. I appreciate that. Glad you were able to join us. We are only at the end of the first stack. we got two boxes. Check out Dirk Remington and his wild card hunts that he posts for us frequently over his channel. Corey, if you could post a link to Dirk's channel, I would appreciate that. I think Corey's in here. Pretty sure I've been gabbing. There's a link from Corey right there. Thank you, man. I appreciate that. Go check out Dirk Remington. Sub him up. And join him in his card hunting in the wild series. Will Clark leading the first or the last pack off. Charlie O'Brien with his dirty mullet. Kevin Reimer, Jerome Pena, Tony Clark. That's it. Why is this called Tony Win? <laughs> oh man, Tony Clark, the hybrid. Tony Gwynn. nice one there. Eric Papas and David Justice. Mark Langston. Some of these are kind of sticky. John Franco. That's a kind of a funny photo of him. Pat Borders. And there's a Bo Jackson. Nice one there. <laughs> Corey. Rod White, what's up? Tim Worrell, Bo Jackson. And the last of the final pack in the first stack, Carlos Garcia. JT Snow. Would have loved that as a kid. Mark Eichhorn. And the final special edition, Daryl Kyle. Eddie Guardado, Brian Tarangan, and some more fake names. Solomon Torres, I was definitely pumped on him, as I'm sure most people probably could have guessed. Cheswick's stack is in the books. Put that one up to the side. A couple of Hall of Famers in there. Ozzy Smith, Tony Gwynn, Wade Boggs. Joker 68 is up next. John Franco dancing with himself. <laughs> it does kind of look like that, huh? The next stack of Jumbos. I couldn't tell you why, though, Paul says. That is pretty crazy. I don't remember him too well at all. But, yeah, these are $2.49 a pack back then. It has definitely been a while there, Rod. Daryl Kyle leading us off in the next pack. I didn't even look through the checklist to see who the big-name stars are in Series 1. I was too busy uh, trying to figure out those technical difficulties. Greg Harris, a really promiscuous shot of him in the back. Dave Nielsen, Kent Mercury, and look at that, Ken Griffey Jr. Nice one there for Joker right off the bat. So Griffey is in the base. Griffey Jr. and Sr. in the back of that card. Sabo, Gilkey, <laughs> Swindell, Jack McDowell, Joe Oliver, Polonia, Jim Gott, Ricky Bonus, Colbrin, Pedro J. Martinez. Nice one there. Charles, thank you for subbing to Dirk Remington. I appreciate that. Thought that was Swindell for a second, but it's a very crusty looking Derek Lillikist. Glen Allen Hill, and check this out Wade Boggs Special Edition. Nice pack there. Griffey and the Boggs. Parallel. Jason Beret was definitely super hyped on him around this time. Jeff Facero and Frank Viola. And ripping right along. Bernie Williams leading this off in this next pack. And we got an Nolan Ryan salute card. I like this one a lot. Harper, Roger McDowell, Mike Morgan, and check that out. Career salute. Joker, you got a good stack so far, man. 66 to 93. First card of the set. That's a freaking awesome one. Probably one of my favorite Nolan Ryan cards, honestly. 
At least from the 90s. Doc Gooden, Joel Johnston. Don't remember him very much at all, even though he's a bucko. Sweet Nolan Ryan. <laughs> Let's see some Frank Catalanato. Bill Kruger, Wild Thing, Mitch Williams, Tim Belcher. And we've got a Juan Gone come up in this pack. Phil Clark. There is the Gonzalez base to make up for that horribly cut insert earlier. Hilly Hathaway, Ryan Thompson, and Moises Alou, special edition. Luis Gonzalez, John Cummings. And that's pretty sweet, though. Career salute to George Brett. Very nice. Very nice. Nolan and Brett in the same pack. That's awesome. I like both of those. Robert Rathman, what's happening, man? Very nice start to Joker. Ripping right along here. Got a lot to go through. Chris Haney, David Justice again. Cecil Fielder. There's Eckersley. Eckersley for Robert Rathman. Doc Gooden again. Chris Gwynn, brother to Tony Gwynn, or as I called him earlier, Tony Clark, <laughs> who actually was a baseball player. A hybrid between Will Clark and Tony Gwynn. Trevor Hoffman, early on in his career, his rookie card is a 92 Bowman. And we have a Diamond Kings card coming up in here. We'll hide that for later. Is that a Piazza? Mark Witten. Jay Owens. Cam Nettie. Huge stats listing on Brett's card. There really were, huh? Same with uh, Nolan Ryan. Velasquez. And Dave Justice, special edition in this pack. Andon, what's up, man? Bruce Ruffin and... So many pirates got so many pirates players from the '90s that I completely forgot about. Andy Tomberlin, Midray Cummings. There's there's just so many of them. Mobon is the Diamond Kings card for this pack. So it seems like these are like gonna be like one per stack, basically four per box. Mobon. The first one was Albert Bell and Steve Avery, William Penny Feather. Yeah, there's <laughs> so many guys that just didn't pan out at all. And look at this Ripken on top. Joker is a Ripken collector, so that's a nice one. But unfortunately, it's a busted corner. Maybe not. Is that part of the photo? Nah. That's the card. First time we've seen that in this box. Ripkin with a busted top left corner. Kerry Taylor, Joel Johnston again. Speaking of Pirates busts. Kevin Robinson, Ray Rookie for Steve Brule. Jody Reed. Kent Merker. Cecil Fielder, Ruben Sierra. In his A's uniform. Not used to seeing that really either. And we got some repeats. Turk Wendell. Never really cared for him. I don't really know why. Diamond Kings are cool though. And we do have the box toppers uh, as well. Numbered out of 10,000. Pretty sweet effect there. Carlos Bayerga, special edition. I've been pumped on that back in the day, Billy Brewer. And Pete Harnish ends that pack out. And then there were two. Packs don't really open that easy. Dave Fleming was definitely pumped on him around this time. Have to point that out. We got Paul Molitor. I was a Paul Molitor super collector in the 90s. And by super collector, I mean I had like 50 of his cards. <laughs> had that one, though. Always liked it. John Burkett, Bayerga, regular. Eric Hansen, Reed, Harper. Charlie Liebrandt. Vicero. Dominator's Ron Gant. Not really uh, the best name out of this set, but uh, 10 card insert set. Number 8, Rondell White. He definitely had a pretty promising future in the early 90s. I was stoked on him. As you could have guessed, Edgar Martinez. Alan Trammell, Frank Bollock. And it looks like our special edition card is Mo Vaughn. With a Ripken checklist. I'm sure Corey probably has that one already, but still, nice redemption because that base card was muffed up. Um... For a Ripken collector, Sirhoff, Brantley, and Tim Wallach. Moving on to the final pack. Yeah, it was definitely a nice Gant. Danny D, Braves collector. <laughs> of course, his worst Jay's openings, Big Mac, PC, and Mail Day Channel. I haven't seen him in a while. I haven't seen Jay in a while either. Jay Dead says, I can't stand that any longer. I'm going to have to go crack open some Pop Tarts. <laughs> Move on for Dave Durango. Yeah, Dave Durango has not been around in quite a while. There's Marquise Grissom leading us off. With Carl Everett stuck to the back of him, Donald Trump's his sharp looking cards. I definitely like this year of Don Russ a lot. Mike Pagliarulo. Otis Nixon. Lots of Braves coming out tonight. Kevin Reimer. Jeffries. Mike Morgan. And another Molitor. I'm just glad these aren't stuck together. If you buy a box of these, be very careful because they are notorious for that. These must have just been stored in a 
moisture-free environment. Smoltz, insert card coming up. Ken Griffey Jr., nice Smoltz though for you Braves fanatics. Check that out. Spear the game, Griffey. Very nice. You know, and I don't think I've ever seen these before this rip. I, was, I used to pull the Spear of the Game all the time from 93. I have never seen the 94s. That's freaking nice. Griffey, probably the best card in this set, honestly. 3 of 10. Very, very nice design compared to the year before. like that one a lot. Steve Rules' dinosaurs are fake. Yeah, I love um, I love the uh, the Bill Hicks act regarding dinosaurs. <laughs> if you're not familiar with Bill Hicks, then uh, go look that up online. Bill Hicks Dinosaurs. Els Burks, Mark Langston, Special Edition, Tom Foley, Raul Mondesi for Corey's new channel, Mining for Mondesi's, and Roberto Hernandez. Joker, you had a hell of a stack, man. Very, very nice. Very nice. A lot of uh, big names in there and a sweet Griffey insert. Probably my favorite of, uh, of that stack. Yeah, Bill Hicks was awesome. Left us way too early. And Joseph C. is in the house. Here's some... Here's some burrito box. Have you pulled any Gary Var shows yet? Joseph C., thank you very much, man. Always a pleasure to have you with us. I don't know if we saw any Gary Var shows yet, but uh, you were definitely talked about recently when we were opening... Did we open 88 Donruss? There was something we did recently regarding 88 Donruss, and you were brought up. I don't think you are in here, though. Appreciate that, man. And you'll be tickled fancy to know that the G.I. Joe video... Uh, we've made some sig significant progress in getting that off the ground. So um, be on the lookout for that because it's coming very, very soon. Always fun pulling Griffey's. Brian Hickerson leads us off. Paul Molitor for the third time in a few packs. Palmero, the throwback threads. Yount, Eckersley, bunch of Hall of Famers in this pack so far. Darren Holmes. <laughs> Joseph sees that you open 88 Donruss and I wasn't here. There was something to do with 88 Donruss and I can't remember what it was. Oh, that's what it was. Paul else is that awful repack box had an 88 Donruss All-Star pack. That's what it was. The, the repack video from a couple of days ago. It was horrible. William McGee, David Cohn. Yeah, a bunch of 88 Donruss in there, man. And you were mentioned. Todd Pratt, Chris Hoyles, Jeff Facero, Corey, that's the third, or Paul, that's the third time that we have seen this one. What do you think, man? Mike Butcher, Sandy Almar. We got a Hall of Famer of Special Edition coming up here soon. Arthur Rhodes. There's Barry Larkin. Check that out. Special Edition. Very nice. Back to back Reds. Bip and Barry. The dynamic duo. The ambiguously blank duo. Norm Charlton and Larry Cation. I don't remember him either. I have a sealed 88 Donruss. <laughs> it was a checklist pack. That was horrible. Paul says, Jeff Facero is now on the Omen watch list. One more, and he may be officially be added. Henry Cotto. Now, if it was in the entire box, it wouldn't be a big deal, but that was like, you know, too close together. John Burkett, Robin Ventura, Bell, Biggio again. <laughs> There's one for Paul. Destrade. Finally shows up. I know that he can rejoice at the sight of that. Kevin Robertson, Brian J. Good luck to you, man. Hopefully we'll find you some nice inserts in here. Steve Carsey, great rookie. He was pumped on him. Kyle Ripken Jr., nice one there. Norm Charlton again. A little bit of stickiness here. Mike Butcher, Tim Bogar. Arrested Estrada as a hero. And there he is. In all his hideous glory, we must... Praise Eric Plunk. Look <laughs> Pedro Stachio, Tina Martinez, and Biggio Special Edition. Rod White says, are Special Edition worth anything? Uh, I forget what Beckett used to say. Beckett used to say they were like two and a half times what the regular cars were. David Need has been stoked on that one. But, yeah, I mean, they're definitely worth more than the regular versions. But they are one per pack. We got Plunked. That must be the that might be the best plunk card I've ever seen. Definitely is a good one. This one does not want to open at all. Yeah, I'm not sure what uh, jumbo boxes really sell for. I feel like they would probably sell for about sixty to eighty bucks. I feel like we got a Dominic Kings coming up in here, and I don't think it's anyone that special. Kind of disappointing. Lofton leading us off. I used to like that card a lot as a kid. Mike Pagliarulo again. Try saying that 
even five times fast. You won't be able to. Kevin Stalker. Kevin Robertson again. Seen a lot of him lately. Is that Tim Raines? Looks like Tim Raines. Palmero, Daryl Kyle, Tim Worrell, Randy Tomlin, and Rick Wilkins is the Diamond Kings. Not really sure why he had a Diamond Kings card, but uh, my stat knowledge in the early 90s obviously isn't that great. Proved he also knew what to do with a bat in 93 above average defensive catcher. I just don't really remember Rick Wilkins that well. So, no offense to you Cubbies fans. Tony Fernandez, Harold Reynolds, Paul says, what the hell? So I'm not the only one. <laughs> Xavier Hernandez, and check that out. Ron Gant, special edition for Danny. Danny Gladden, this mullet flapping in the wind. Chris Hammond, and a possible future Hall of Famer, Omar Vizquel. Who is that King Daniel says? Rick Wilkins. Rick Wilkins. Final three packs. Brian J. Stack. For some reason, these ones are difficult to open. And there is Tim Raines leading us off. Mark Portugal. Carse rated rookie. A little bit of stickiness in this pack. Roger McDowell, Radinsky. Seeing a couple of new faces here. Eckersley, Kevin Stalker, Chris Haney. So weird how like none of these other cards really have been miscut, but uh, 